Trees burning in a wildfire are shown. Text on screen reads, Being prepared. Wildfires. Video by the National Weather Service in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Randall Hargert, meteorologist, appears on screen in front of a stucco background. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration logo and National Weather Service logo are behind him on the right. Hi, my name is Randall Hergert and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Today I'll be discussing wildfire safety with you. A wildfire is an uncontrolled and unplanned fire in a wilderness area that can spread extremely fast, quickly consuming everything from trees and vegetation to homes and structures. Weather events like lightning can cause wildfires, but in fact people can cause the most wildfire starts. Wildfire flames along a forest floor are shown. The scene changes to a fire danger sign from the Pine Strawberry Fire Department. The sign indicates fire danger is extreme and no open fires are allowed without a permit. Wildfires can happen at many places, but the risk increases with periods of dry weather, little rain, and high winds. So unfortunately, New Mexico is no stranger to wildfires and it is important for all New Mexicans to stay aware and have a plan. A Smokey the Bear sign that indicates fire danger is extreme is shown. The sign reads, Prevent Forest Fires. Text on screen reads, How can I protect myself from a wildfire? The first step in preparation for protecting yourself from wildfires is gathering information. Learn about your community's history and risk for wildfires. Learn about your community's wildfire warning system, as well as any evacuation routes in nearby shelters. Finding multiple evacuation routes is always a plus. A plume of smoke rising up into a blue sky is shown. Text on screen recaps Randall's preparedness tips for protecting yourself from wildfires. Randall appears on screen again in front of a stucco background. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration logo and the National Weather Service logo are behind him on the right. Moving items on your property that can fuel a wildfire and keeping vegetation around your property to a minimum, like removing tree limbs within 15 feet of the ground and storing combustible items far away from your home, can help in preventing the spread of a wildfire. An aerial shot of the Diego Fire from 2014 in the Yemez Mountains is shown. Text on screen reads, What should I include in an evacuation kit? Randall appears on screen again in front of a stucco background the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration logo and the National Weather Service logo are behind him on the right. It is also important to have a plan of action before a wildfire starts. Have a way to receive alerts such as with the NOAA weather radio or the wireless emergency alert system like the ones you receive on your phone. Have an evacuation kit ready for you to take at a moment's notice. Some examples of what you should include are a face mask, battery operated radio, a flashlight, bottled water, a first aid kit, cell phone and chargers, important documents, and needed medications. An example of an emergency kit that includes essentials such as water, non-perishable food, and a first aid kit is shown. And the text on the screen summarizes Randall's tips for what should be included in your kit. Have a designated emergency meeting spot in case you and your loved ones are separated. And have emergency out-of-town contacts for you and those in your home to call in case of an emergency as well. Consider using social media if possible to update friends and family as phone systems are often busy during an emergency. A picture of two police cars pulled over the side of the road while a smoke plume rises behind them is shown. If you see a wildfire, call 911 immediately. Prepare to evacuate and listen to instructions from officials. When evacuating, heed all instructions from officials so you can evacuate safely. Leave your indoor and outdoor lights on so your home can be seen through the thick smoke. Shut off the gas as you leave, and leave doors and windows unlocked to assist firefighters. The burn scar and barren landscape from the Ute Park fire of 2018 in Cimarron Canyon is shown on screen. Text on screen reads, What if I am in my car during a wildfire? Randall appears on screen again in front of a stucco background. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration logo and the National Weather Service logo are behind him on the right. If you are in your car and see a wildfire, stay in your car. Never try to outrun a wildfire on foot. Keep your windows rolled up, close your vents, and keep your headlights on. If you have to stop, park away from vegetation and other wildfire fuels. 
the smoke plume from the commissary fire of 2015 in Santa Fe, New Mexico, that is rising in the air, is shown. Text on screen reads, Is the threat over once the wildfire is contained? Randall appears on screen again in front of a stucco background. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration logo and the National Weather Service logo are behind him on the right. The threat doesn't end once the wildfire has been contained. Listen to authorities and only return home once it's safe to do so, as the fire may have resulted in new dangers present near or at your home. Wildfires dramatically change landscapes and there is an increased risk of flooding until the vegetation is restored, which may take up to five years after a wildfire is over. A burned landscape with bare trees from a wildfire is shown. Having a plan is key, and following these preparedness tips to ensure you and your loved ones are safe in case of a wildfire will keep you ahead of the danger. Thanks for joining us. Trees burning in a wildfire are shown. Text on screen reads, Being prepared. Wildfires. Video by the National Weather Service in Albuquerque, New Mexico.